خالد بن قاسم ابو بكر ثابت محمد تنو باري خالد بن قاسم ابراهيم باري عز الدين سفيان We remember 29 of January and we remember the action of Islamophobia happened here one month ago. Montreal's Islamic Center in Verdun is marking the sixth anniversary of the Quebec City mosque attack when a gunman opened fire on worshippers during evening prayers January 29, 2017, leaving six dead in a commemoration outside their mosque, the same place that one month ago a man was seemingly targeting worshippers before afternoon prayers. Surveillance video shows him trying to force his way inside. What happened one month ago reminds us what happened six years ago in the mosque of uh, of Quebec. And, uh, you know, it doesn't start like just one man come inside. There's like symbols, there's like many actions before. The video posted to social media December 30th showed two male worshippers heading into the building, one with their phone out, possibly filming a man who suddenly runs across the street after them, cutting in front of a car. He then seemingly tried to force his way through the door as they held it back and reportedly insulted the Muslim faith. A police investigation is ongoing. It's still not settled. It's always fear and worry and we're here so we don't forget and it doesn't happen again. I'm just here after the prayer just to support my brothers Muslim from all around the world with my son. I knew the pain of people like uh, what they suffer so that's why I'm here to share the pain. Earlier in the morning, Montreal Mayor Valérie Plante said there is still work to be done. In Quebec, even though we are an inclusive and open-minded society, we need to recognize and work on systemic racism that includes Islamophobia. Sunday marks the National Day of Remembrance of the Quebec City mosque attack and action against Islamophobia. Islamophobia killed innocent people. And therefore, we should take actions against it. We should not isolate ourselves. We should go outside and speak loud, and uh, it's our right to, to pray. Muslims are a peaceful community, so we just want to live with peace. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.